Ryan Gosling has been considered one of the most attractive men ever in the entire world. Let's learn how Ryan is able to capture the hearts of so many with his charm while still being an introvert in this episode of Classic Charm. What is charm? It's an unspeakable energy that somebody has. I disagree. As a social coach, I've been studying this shit for over the past 20 years, and I have found that charm comes down to nine traits. Here they are right here. Now, I personally believe Ryan Gosling is the most charming person that I've ever analyzed and studied on classic charm. And also does it in a way that's not big and bombastic, but in a very calm, collected, relaxed way, but also very focused. And that's why I'm going to be covering so many of these traits of charm. The first mark of charm is embracing your individuality. Now, I want you to watch this question that Ryan gets asked in this interview right here. Most people, most celebrities, they jump to an answer. Especially when talking about a co-star, they want to try to show everybody how amazing they think they are and take, oh my God, he's the best actor. He's so, he's so blah, blah, blah. But I want you to watch how he responds to the question. Going to work every day with George Clooney. Mm -hmm. um, highlight for you? Well, he's just, he's such an interesting guy. He's doing so much all the time, you know? He wrote, direct, uh, produced, starred in uh, the film. He's also, he's got satellites over Sudan taking pictures of the border that he's navigating from his cell phone. You know, he's checking the scores on the game. He's got a few practical jokes in the work at all times. He's, uh, you know, he's just very busy and it's, he's so high functioning, you know, that it's like kind of fascinating to watch somebody like that in action. Do you see how he takes a pause, how he stops and he thinks about what he wants to say. You can see that he goes into himself and really tries to give the best answer possible here, but not just the best answer, the best answer that has to do with what his true experience is, how he truly feels about his co-star. That is somebody that embraces his own individuality because he doesn't give a fuck about just jumping to answering the most common, boring, obvious answer of going, oh, he's such an amazing person. Oh, we have such a great time. He doesn't do that bullshit. He takes a moment, he thinks, and then calmly he tells exactly how he feels. And that's another thing about Ryan. Even though he has an amazing sense of humor, he's super charismatic. I want you to realize that most of the time he's very calm, he's collected. And and that's because that's who he is. He's not trying to be calm, especially in a world where charisma and being big and huge is such a popular, accepted, ready to be loved trait. Ryan doesn't give a fuck. He's calm when he wants to be, and he's an idiot when he wants to be as well. So the next trait of charm that Ryan embodies so well is having fun and being playful. In this interview, you can see easily how he keeps interrupting the person that's asking him questions, and he does it in a fun way where it's purposeful, where everybody knows this is him being playful. This is how he jokes around. We're having problems. <laughs> you know, we'll we'll get into your therapy. We're going through a conscious unbuddying right now. Conscious unbudying. I like yeah. that. I want to... he'll be on tomorrow, so <laughs> we, you know, we like, we're, we're separated for like, we, we've agreed to keep 24 hours apart. All right, good to know. But All right. see him, tell him I look happy. We'll, we'll play some we'll play some of what you tell him I look really I'm happier than I've ever been okay okay you I will tell him that I will tell him that for you Ryan I, I want to get into the movie in just a bit but first I understand the girl to boy ratio in your house is now three to one yes how's that going it's heaven it's like it's like walking through a field of flowers every day it's just, well congratulations I live, I live with angels <laughs> Very nicely put. It's, it's, a, it's a ray of sunshine in a dark time, honestly, because with Russell, it's really, it's, it's, it's sad. It's sad that we've turned out this way. You know? <laughs> well, you actually play a father in, in this. And that relationship between you and your, she's 13-year-old actress, but your daughter, it, it's really the, the heart of the movie because you and yeah. Russell have your issues. But your daughter, what was it like working alongside uh, her? She's a, just a star in the making. Yeah. You, you said it that because you didn't know how to pronounce her name. I right? don't. It's Angori Rice. It's Angowry. Angowry Rice. Right. <laughs> and they you know say me it so well. <laughs> I read. The, I have similar fear in my eyes too. I can see it. Uh, Angowry. 
They say it like it's like Maori. Okay. You know? I'm Although I think Gowry. it's pronounced. In this interview with Jay Leno, I want you to see how he's constantly trying to show that he's not a celebrity. He's just a regular guy. Watch how when people are clapping for him, he mentions, "Oh, you guys were just clapping because of the applause sign." And how does how does Mel do? I saw the applause sign. I know. It's true. I'm hip. And it's a nice. Or when Jay Leno comments about how much attention is on to him lately and how well he's doing in the media, he goes, "It's a bit overkill. I'm fucking sick of myself." It's been a busy year for you. Three big movies. You got uh, Crazy Stupid Love, Drive, Ides of March. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a bit, a bit, bit overkill. Is it overkill? You think? It's a little too much. Think you're overexposed? Everything? I'm sick of myself. Really? Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't imagine how everyone else feels. And how does that that is Ryan bringing himself down to earth. He's never trying to show that he's better than others. He doesn't have this type of ego where he needs to show that I'm this fucking hot shot movie star. This is a very important part of charm. Most people think that, oh, to be attractive, to be especially attractive, I need to show high value. I need to be a high value man. Go fuck yourself. It's the exact opposite. If you are trying to show off, it only proves proves that you are insecure in yourself and you truly don't feel happy just in yourself. So you need to get that validation from people. You need to prove it to people how great you are. Ryan doesn't give a fuck about that. He is always, always bringing himself down to earth. Here are a few more examples. I feel a little self-conscious about it. Now why? Well, because I already wore it once. You wore it once. <laughs> And apparently in show business, yeah. you know, would know this, you can't yeah. wear the same thing twice. Yeah. It's like uh, you're spitting in fashion's face. Really? <laughs> yeah. But I don't care, I'm wearing it again, so. There you go, that's yeah. Yeah, it's really a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's sort of ridiculous, you know, you know, I told them I'd be better suited to play the young Xena. But they, uh, they cast me here. I mean, I'm excited, it's gonna be a lot of fun, you know. Every time something like this happens, my mother calls every kid that used to beat me up. She's like, remember Ryan used to beat him up, huh? Well, he's Hercules now. You just shut up. Yeah, <laughs> so she's very proud. She's very excited for him. I'm also feeling a little self-conscious because I, uh, okay, so I ran into my friend Lisa Shields last night. Lisa? Yeah, and she, um, her job is to work for, she works for my agent now. Right. Her, one of her jobs is to record all my late night appearances. <laughs> yeah. She told me this last night. She said, I'm trying too hard on talk shows. You're trying too hard? Yeah, she said, you're trying so hard to be cool. Wow. And I said, well, what should I do? And she was like, I don't know. Just like, uh, I said, I'm going on Jay Leno tomorrow. Yeah. So what should I do? She said, I don't know. Like, just don't talk. Don't talk. Even in this interview about the movie The Notebook that he was in, he's always taking the importance and placing it onto his co-star, Rachel McAdams. He's never saying, oh, I did it. He's always saying, she is the person that made this movie what it is. We weren't making the movie when we were auditioning because Really the whole, it's really Rachel's movie and the whole film kind of, if it's a car, she's driving it, so. Now the one thing about Ryan is he is an expert at conversation. He knows every in and out of how to chat with somebody, how to ask questions, how to make that eye contact, how to listen, how to take a conversation from normal and boring and put a little spice, put a little charisma in it, and how to make it more sexual at the right times, how to get physical with somebody. Ryan is a master. And because I've been studying conversation for so long, I created a course called Conversation Mastery, which you can get in the link in the description or at scanning the QR code right now. Conversation Mastery costs over $600 on my website, but I wanted to make it free for you, so I put it on Skillshare, and I'm giving you a whole month of Skillshare for free when you click the link in the description or scan the QR code, and when you do, this is how it's gonna work. You sign up for Skillshare, yes, you put your credit card details in, but you're not paying for Skillshare. You know why? Because you could just cancel the trial like literally right now. You put your credit card details in, you cancel the trial, you get my course that's over $600 for fucking free. Now listen, if you wanna support Skillshare, you love the classes, all that type of stuff, you can continue with Skillshare and pay for it, but that's not what I'm asking you to do. I'm just asking you to get my course for free on Skillshare. This is my little loophole that I created for you. Click the link in the description, QR code. I'll talk to you more about this conversation master course after this video. Let's get back to Ryan. Now another mark of charm that Ryan embodies so incredibly well, just like all of them, is taking a special positive interest in the person that is in front of him at any time. And one of the best ways that Ryan exemplifies this is when he's in an interview 
He's never trying to make it about him. He's never trying to make it an interview. He's always trying to make it a conversation. So he's always taking that question and he's throwing it back at the interviewer. This turns it into something where it's two people that are just relating to each other. Or are we just too nice? I don't really know. What do you think? I think we're just too nice. But I said I still that yesterday think... and Paul Giamatti really went at me for that. Well, my first thing I thought was, I gotta get a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when was the first time you got a bike? Oh, my first, well, first time I got a bike? Or well, when did you want a bike? When did you know? You know, I when remember actually it's because I was six. It was because he never takes the person that's in front of him for granted. If there's a person that's asking him questions, he's not just dehumanizing them and acting as though they are just some computer that's spouting out questions to him that he has to answer. No, that is a person that is a human being in front of him, and he has to acknowledge that. He has to show that person how important they are to him. Now, the next thing that Ryan is so fucking good at, I want you to watch how good Ryan Gosling's eye contact is. And now remember, it's not just eye contact for eye contact's sake. A charming person isn't just staring at you, okay? What Ryan Gosling is doing is he's using his eyes to look into that person. How you do this is you kind of just gaze onto the person's face. You're not staring at any one thing at a time, but what you're doing is you're taking in their emotions that they're constantly expressing on their face at every given moment. When you do so, you're able to see through the lines of what that person is actually trying to tell you or not trying to tell you everything is on a person's face. Now this is a big one here because without this, Ryan wouldn't be charming. You could be interested in people, you could be embracing your individuality, but if you don't have a rebellious streak in you, if you're not a little bit cheeky when you're interacting with people, you kind of come off boring a little bit flat. I want you to watch in these clips how Ryan takes so many situations and makes them a little bit fucked up. He likes to turn them on their head. He likes to take situations and say, you know, this is going really nice and well why don't we just like throw a little bullshit into the mix I probably could yeah. bye what bye <laughs> no bye <laughs> bye Ryan bye Ryan, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> bye this is not something that most celebrities are doing on interview junkets. They're trying to behave. They're trying to be squeaky clean. Ryan knows how to balance that with just a little bit of deviance. So because charming people are so good at balancing the deviance and the normalcy of their personalities, I want you to watch this very subtle thing that Ryan does in an interview when he's about to talk about sex, but instead of saying the word sex, he chooses a better more acceptable word, copulate. We, we share the same dream somehow, I don't know how, and so I think it makes for a good, a good, a good team, yeah. you know. So did it end with a kiss goodnight then? No, we just kind of creatively copulated and uh, made a movie baby in my car. He does things like this because if you push too hard in the rebellious, misbehaving vibe, you're gonna come off a little crazy, annoying, just unacceptable. So you always wanna be cleaning it up with being a pleasant, courteous, polite person. Now here's where Ryan's charm is probably the most abundant. He's probably the most quick-witted A-list celebrity I've ever known. Now being quick-witted is a skill that you develop, but at the same time, it's all about being as alert as possible for what the conversation's actually about, what's actually being talked about. Look at it a little bit deeper than just surface level, and you're gonna be able to make these quick connections to what somebody says or to something that you even say, turning something into something more funny or more interesting. Was was the magic immediate or did it evolve? No. No, no. yeah, no. It's a filter that they added in post, just later on. <laughs> the same people that designed Gollum for Lord of the Rings, they just went in there and they gave us chemistry. <laughs> It's good, it works, right? It's, it feels real. Going back to Ryan's interviews in The Notebook, I want you to just, this is probably the best example of Ryan showing his quick wit. Now there were some other people that we talked about for your role, from Tom Cruise to Matt Damon. I didn't hear that. What do you think about that? 
what were they doing casting me? I, you know, Nick sent me the script, and he, he said he thought that I should do it, and I read it, and I thought he was crazy, and I met with him. I said, Nicky, you know, come on. This is not the face of a romantic lead. And he said, well, you know, that way when she says that she loves you, we know that she's in it for the right reasons. So I thought, well, that, that's probably true. <laughs> and he's like, Brad Pitt, anyone's going to fall in love with Brad Pitt. You, who's going to fall in love with you? And I thought, yeah, it's mean, but you don't need to say that. He was like, no, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying that, you know, you make babies cry. And I'm like, whoa, that's, what do you, stop it, you know? He's like, no, I'm just feeling nauseous looking at you. It's nothing for, I was like, come on. You know, if I was going to give you the magic pill for how to be charming, I would just put you in an improv class. The most fundamental concept in improv is something called yes and. It's where you take whatever is being talked about, you agree with it, and then you add on top of it. Ryan is the best in this, and it shows that he's actually studied improv for years. Do you just hold on for one second? Oh, okay. Sublime! I don't know. I have to think about that. And just like most celebrities that I analyze on Classic Charm, they are passionate about a wide array of things. Now, Ryan is no different. He's an actor, but at the same time, he's a musician. He's released an album. He sings. He plays instruments. He is multi-passionate in life and every charming person that I've ever studied is the same. We all know his performance in Barbie singing I'm Just Ken, but I want you to listen to this song that he wrote years ago and performed with his own band. I don't think I'm ever going to analyze somebody as charming as Ryan Gosling on Classic Charm, but if you have any suggestions for me, put it in the comments. If you're interested in my conversation class and learning all of the ins and outs of how Ryan actually goes about having conversation, how does he ask questions, how does he express himself, how does he make eye contact, if you really want to get deep with his stuff and learn how to flirt just like Ryan does, if you want to have that energy just like Ryan does, get my conversation mastery course on Skillshare on my website. It costs over $600, but I'm not going to do that to you today. Today, I'm going to give it to you for free when you sign up with Skillshare for a month. Now, this is not a sponsorship with Skillshare. This is me putting my course on Skillshare and giving you that free month trial to use my course. And then if you like Skillshare, keep paying for it, whatever. But if you don't want to continue with Skillshare, then you could just cancel the free trial and then you get my course for free. That's a $600 course for free right now when you click below or scan the QR code. Now, I've been a social skills and relationship coach for over 15 years. And if you want to learn more about the ins and outs of charm, social skills, dating, and flirting, you could click the subscribe button if you want. You don't have to smash it like the other dorks do. You just kind of like lightly stroke it. What was this?